People don't understand what it means when you say it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. If you got somebody like, and I'll use the situation with Rager as an example. When you got that type of money tied up in a player, you got to remember Rager was a first round pick. So if they if they just let him go, the money that's owed goes against the cap. So they're going to try to give him every opportunity to make the squad. However, Deion Kane has been balling. And Deion Kane is clearly uh, the best wide receiver we have that is not named Devontae Smith, A.J. Brown, Quez Watkins, uh, Pascal, or, you know, who am I missing? He's He's got to be the number five receiver. He's He's earned it. Let me just say it like that, plain and simple. He's earned it. The problem is with Rager now, one of the reasons why they'll probably keep him is so they don't have to pay that cap hit. And whether you like him or not at receiver, we all know what the situation is with that. He can still return. Now, he didn't necessarily do a very good job last year, but he can still do it. He can still field a punt, and he can still do kick return. So, Worst come to worst, you got to stick him back there to, you know, maybe he breaks one or or puts it all together. You never know. So um, that's, in my opinion, that's why uh, there's a good chance that they end up keeping him because Deion Kane is not returning. I think I was always curious as to why Devin Allen never returned. Devin Allen, I was like, if he if he did kick return and punt return, he'd have had a better shot. But especially with his speed, but maybe he ain't got quicks like that. Maybe he just got raw speed, but he can't, you know, throttle it down, change direction, make a cut, all that kind of stuff. 